Hello everyone. So today I fucked up. So I wanted to test out this 14 hour lipstick because I love a good red lip. But you see what had happened was I'm pale and this is with bronzer on and I'm still this pale. So I don't know how I feel about the look. Because I feel like when you do a red lip, like a dark lip, you should keep the eye simple. And I didn't do any highlighter either. So we're just going to roll with it. Z's looking goth as a fuck. Goth as a fuck. Goth as a motherfucker today. And we're going to see if this lipstick really does stay for 14 hours. It says super stay. We all know I smoke. We all know I chug monsters and coffee and come like a hoe. So... Just kidding, not anymore. <laughs> Speaking of, if we get a divorce, where am I going to get my sperm facials from? Anyways, if you're new to this channel, I'm very open about my entire life. Welcome. I know others like to keep their secret. I really couldn't give two fucks. So, Smithy Smithson, Smithy, gave me a song that blew my mind. Now before him, who was it? Fuck. Alex gave me a song that blew my mind. And so I did a whole list of their requested songs because of that. If you give me a song that blows my mind, you're gonna get a day. So today is Smithy's day and we're gonna start out with this one. He said it was because I liked Trees of Eternity and I was kind of into Doom and so that's why he chose this one. Pearl Jam, one of their influences? actually quite sad. Like, I feel like crying and I don't know why.
I think it, I think you keep saying you're on your own. Like, I'm still new to this. Hold the fuck on. Just kidding. I like how they put that bass in it and they played it in there. They really made it pop. I felt like that went on for an appropriate amount of time. Like just when I was about to be getting bored with it or like, okay, let's go to something else because I am very ADD. Oh fuck, I gotta take my Adderall. I will go and take that, I promise. So, I don't feel like the song did anything but make me cry or like hurt or like feel some really tender emotion. Because, in fact, like, after a hot second, I had, to, I had to look down and start fiddling with my necklace to take my mind off of it. Because it is one of those songs where it's very melancholy. It's very, dri it's driven by a lot of emotion. And so you're going to get emo an emotional response when you hear this song. And, frankly, first thing in the morning, I was looking for something a little more peppy. Instead of something that was going to make me almost cry and sound creepy and stopped up for the rest of the day but it's okay you're forgiven smithy so this was the first one now let's go on for the second one 